Hello and welcome. So this video is uh, the truth about growing up video, which I do on a regular basis. And uh, this one is talking about how to be streetwise. Um, now, being somebody who grew up uh, in London, uh, it's very, uh, I've always been streetwise. You know, I never walk uh, down side roads this time of night if, can, if I can help it. Um, or when I can help it when... I used to go to school in the dark and make sure that I went home with uh, other pupils of the school. Um, and that's important to make sure you travel together. Um, if we go to people's parties, always find out what drinks are available that they're offering. And always keep your drink close by at hand because, unfortunately, you can't even when going to a friend's house. You know, I've seen it all, all, uh, you know, and news about it that they've ended up having their drink spikes and then they've woken up, not knowing where they are and what happened to themselves. So it's all about, you know, staying safe and uh, just looking around you. Don't, when you're walking home in the dark, don't have your earphones on because you're not going to know, you forget where your whereabouts are and there's people walking behind you. You know, you just need to be a lot more vigilant at this time of year. So, you know, when you go out, you know, obviously being, living in a pre-bully state, I used to get a little bit weary about walking home from school when it was dark. Um, but I did it, and I would, so, well, there was times when I would run, you know, part of the way, because it wasn't always fully lit, walking through pre uh, to my flat, where I used to live with my mum and dad and my brother. Uh, but, you know, I always got a safety, uh, and I, and it's good to have uh, coloured clothing on. So if you've, got a red, if you've got a red top that you can wear, a scarf that you can wear, and that can easily be seen by the people, and put it on. You know, especially if you're doing running, if you're, uh, if you're going to school and you do running, you know, make sure that you wear bright coloured clothing in the night time, if this is when you when I do your runs, um, and just keep your whereabouts. Um, and, you know, if you're going to smoke, <laughs> then obviously always ask the person for permission. I mean, if you ask for a hand raising, just to say, be careful. You know, be careful about, you know, all all uh, drugs that, and, and tobacco is also a drug, where well, people don't, and people forget that. You know, it does help, they come with side effects. All drugs, whether they're legal or illegal, come with side effects. So it's very important that you know what's going on in your body. And if you're going to a friend's house, let your parents know where this where one of the kids of your school home is. Always keep you know, make sure that your phone is fully charged and with you all the time, along with your money, your bags, Okay. I mean, what I would do is that if I was hosting a party, uh, I would always have a room where people put their bags and coats, and they remember where the bags are, um, and to, and to keep vigilant um, and have people, you know, have like a, 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 create a cloakroom basically in your home. So no, but if somebody accidentally picks something up, then it doesn't matter. But if they've done it, so if you know, unfortunately. You know, I've learned, you know, an awful lot uh, since I was a teenager. And even when you go around somebody else's home, it doesn't stop somebody stealing. And unfortunately, you know, it does happen. Um, but sometimes people would generally just pick up the wrong thing or if they've got the same coat. And that's the other thing. Having kids wear a different coat to one another and that they're wearing a coloured top because if they, if they, you know, uh, can't, um, text you or in an area where they can't get a signal, you know, and you're worried, just make sure they're wearing a coloured top so they can easily be de identified and found if they've got if they've got lost, you know, walking home, if they, and that's the other thing, you know, if you feel, uh, if you're a parent, then watching this uh, with your children, make sure that you, you know, uh, you know the address, you go with them, uh, you drop them there, you drop them back. Um, 
but make sure they've uh, and make sure that the people that you live with have phones as well so you can and their telephone number so you can give them a ring um, and it's just things like that simple things that you could do if you're a teenager it's good to enjoy yourself and enjoy your teens but be safe about when you go about being a teenager you know be careful about talking to strangers and uh, people that you've never met before um, and you know always get, let your parents know where you are um, and where you're going and so uh, what to look out for so if you feel that somebody is following you stop turn around for the see if you can see what they do have your phone, have, uh, your phone to hand and call 999 straight away or if, if you have any fear and you're not wasting for these time in any way it's just making sure that you stay safe and that you don't go uh, you know where you're going uh, and your parents can know where you are and as I was saying wear clothes that are sensible as well it's okay to go yourself up in high heels but you've got to remember about getting home so if I was going to a friend's party I would always take a pair of trains with me to change over if I had to walk from the house back to my own house and it's just simple things like that um, make sure you have your, your parents' telephone numbers, only siblings that are older than you that can walk you to and from the party or somebody else's house. Um, uh, make sure that um, you know if if it's people that you don't necessarily know well, uh, always get your own drink. Don't rely. Don't if or see them pour the drink out. Don't go into another room until you've got that drink in your hand. Uh, that you can watch them as they pour it out. And I'm not saying being totally suspicious, but just keep keep yourself, ob, ob, be observant, you know, of what is around you, who is around you, what is around you, and always, and if you need to book a cab, make sure you've got money on you. Uh, even if you don't you like to use debit cards, you're going to a bar, always make sure you've got a number for a cab company, or it's a place where you can easily pick up a cab, um, and you know, go, and if you can go in a cab with other people, that's what I used to do when I used to go out uh, with, you know, so I used to be into rugby, and we would often go after the game, go and have a bite to eat, or if we didn't have anything to eat was before the game, um, we would often carry on. But you need to remember that you've got to get home, so you know, always make, make always plan your journey there and plan your journey back. Um, and check the weather, of course. Um, and what else I also would do to keep safe is to have. A, I mean, when I worked at uh, Butlins, because there was, uh, when I was there, there was uh, girl um, people from the camp being mugged outside the camp, um, and her even worse than that. Because unfortunately there was a rapist on the loose <laughs> when I worked at Butlins, um, and I never forget it because my, my uh, they must have had it on the news because I got a phone call from my mum and from my brother checking to make sure I was alright, um, but that was fine. But just you know, I would always make sure that I wasn't too intoxicated that I can't get home. It's all right having a getting drunk at school but you've got to get home and if you've got around people that can go up and travel with you then go with those people uh, or because what I've done before is if it's in London and I'm worried about getting back I would usually come back where I am living now or I would book a hotel room for the night because he said I know that I'm going to be safe and that I'm going to be you know um, not having to travel too far and then I could stay out as long as I wanted some of it, and I would pace it. And I, in my younger years, uh, I didn't always think about getting home and stuff. I'd be, I'd be, the mindset well, I wouldn't be out all night, and sometimes I was. But you still got to keep yourself safe, you know. And I would stay at a friend's house if, I, if I didn't have the money to book a hotel room, you know. If I had some 
If I could, if I was able to stay at a friend's house nearby, now you to take him up on it because it's just easier that way, and you know that you're going back with your friends in a safe place, um, and then you can, you know, still enjoy yourself, but you're not being made yourself into a target to to be, you know, uh, a temptation to those that want it, that unfortunately do bad things to, you know, to normal folk, as I, as I would call them, because, you know, unfortunately they are out there. And so being streetwise is very important. You know, don't, if you don't have to walk down the side road, don't do it. Uh, if you can get a night bus, get a night bus and work out, you know, how far it drops you off from your house to the door. Um, but I would always, you know, if I could, if I had, and have spare money, so and I would, sa- and if I was going out, I used to save my money for going out. Not all the time, <laughs> I'm really sad, but I learnt to do that, so I didn't end up being stuck anywhere, um, and that I could get home. I always made sure it was a well lit area, um, and I let my people, my, my parents know. Even if it was past midnight, that I was on my way home, they so didn't have to worry. So you know that is basically uh, you know that's how to be streetwise. And if you can, I'm not saying to carry, don't carry around knives and guns and all that. Honestly, I mean, you know, we are living in a totally different world, and there's lots of stabbings going on now, more than what I remember as a, as a kid. And it's just, you know. It's just devastating when, you know, they're going out, having a good time, and then they get hurt. You know, safety should always be at the top of your mind. So stay safe, you know, stay, you know, be vigilant, and always, you know, be around uh, friends that are trustworthy. If there is somebody that you're not sure of, keep your distance, you, uh, and, you know, just keep your whereabouts, of, you know, all the time. So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this is helpful. And subscribe if you wish to. And many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.